Alright, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to export in HD. Uh, first up, uh, open up a video, and you have to have a relatively high quality video for this to work uh, successfully. Um, this is mainly HD for YouTube. Um, ugh, come on, where the hell is my hard drive? Sorry, my laptop's really slow today. Uh, okay, here it is. Right, uh, let's see. Um, what can I open? Oh, I know. Let's just uh, let's open up this just just for the purposes of it. Right. Uh, so first, drag it into your timeline. Okay. Make sure it's all good. And uh, you probably want to do a bit of color correction just for the sake of it. Really, you know, maybe a bit of contrast. But that's not really important. Now, right. Anyway, back on to the main part. Go to create video file. Uh, eventually, it will come up. And don't go HDV. Do not go HD DVD. Don't go DV. Go to custom. Custom. I'll try and zoom in. Here we go. Custom. Right. Now, first, you want to find your folder thing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, type of file name. So let's call this infiltration HD. Okay, then when we go to options, make sure you go to options and yeah, go to general uh, frame rate. Uh, should be alright. And then go to user define. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. You want to change this, and you either want to go for quick time. But uh, for most, I would recommend Windows Media Video. This is a good uh, compre yeah, compresses the frames pretty well, and uh, it gives very high quality, almost as good as AVI. Do not go AVI; that will just eat up your memory. So go with Windows Media Video or QuickTime, depending on what you're using. Now go to Profile, Ugh. and scroll down. Uh, where is it? This is nuts. And you want to go for HD 720p. Uh, PAL standard is probably the best one to go for, but NTSC, I think that's actually an American one. So you'll have to make an educated guess on that. Uh, once you've done that, uh, it should come up with 1280 by 720. Uh, just make sure your video is already formatted for widescreen. If not, you want to try and make sure you can work out as long basically 1280 by 720 is sort of the minimum requirement to that you have to meet to get HD on YouTube uh, then if you click customize uh, you probably won't do anything and audio looks good and then you click OK and then just click save it's as simple as that um, it will take quite a while but you know also, um, for anyone who does have uh, ULEs, you can also upload it directly from here. And then just go for browser WMV file to upload and follow the steps on screen. Right, well I hope this tutorial has been of help to everyone and uh, yeah, watching my films.